I think languages are fascinating. Fascinating. Like, uh, I think that languages um, influence a lot of how we talk with each other and how we think about the world, what communication within our societies is like, what we talk about, how we talk about it. I think that the structure and the um, yeah, and the evolution of our languages has a lot to do with who we are as people. What I wanted to share today is about a language of one of South America's indigenous people called the Aymara. And in this language, um, they have a concept of time that is opposite to all the world's other studied cultures. Specifically, the past is ahead of them and the future is behind them. Ethnographers were trying to understand various concepts they were having or descriptions that they were trying to agree upon and uh, there was just some sort of like fundamental difference until finally these uh, researchers, you know, who are obviously from outside this culture, uh, realized that it's because our concepts of time are completely different. In English, for example, and most other languages, we have um, ways of speaking that indicate that we think about time as being like forward moving, right? Like we look into the future and we look back into our pasts, for example. And the reason I found this so awesome is, well, it's, it's so different. The, it's these little things that wake us up to saying, oh, maybe the way that I think about the world is not a the only way to think about the world and then b like the correct way of thinking about the world you know and i love those moments because they wake us up and like shock us out of like that comfortable little box that we've like put ourselves into and the reason that i thought about this today is because i watched a few more um videos of guru nath they're about time and dis dissolving your concepts of time and the mind and and this idea of continuity that we have and cause and effect and like um, oh where will we be going where did we come from and just being very present uh, at the airport here there's a large um, billboard that says wherever you are the time is and then it's spelled out in digital letters now and I think that's so cool that it's sitting outside the airport and, um, you know obviously the scene of a lot of rushing and you know preoccupation with time um, practical living things, I guess. And when I thought about the Aymara language and culture, you know, and the way that they think about time, along uh, the lines of perspective shifting, so I tried this experiment of like thinking, okay, if my future is behind me, I can't see it. I cannot see it. You know what I mean? I mean, like, just let that sit with you for a minute. You can't see your future. On some level, that's obvious. On another level, I think that we're constantly tending to try and look into it, right? Um, so when I let myself conceptualize future as behind me, you know, and I can't just turn over my shoulder and look at it because it's like back here, you know, I just can't see it. I can't bother myself with it, right? I have to focus on now. And I can see my past, right? I can see that what's around me is a result of what I have done to get here, or what I have been through that has brought me to this place. Not just physical location, but also the way that I'm seeing things, what I'm experiencing, right? So my current reality as dictated by my past, but the past is not something I can change, right? So I'm forced to sit here in the now, and think about, okay, what can I best do now? <laughs> Timely bell. Yeah, really, I feel that it forces me to just be like, okay, what can I do right now? Another way in which this experiment has been very helpful is, for example, when I'm walking home and it's dark outside, and when I click into that, re like, to this experiment, the concept, right? I think about how, wow, I, I can't be scared. I can, of course, can always be scared. But I, um, there's no anticipation. There's no anticipation because I'm not looking at the future. I'm looking at life. The future is behind me. I cannot see the future, right? So I cannot be scared of it. I cannot worry about it. And yet, making decisions in the f in the present 
tends to get me to a place that I can really appreciate. And then the presence that I, in the future, see in front of me, right? The present that has been created by the past is beautiful. And that's where we live. Like, look into these things if you're interested, right? Like, check it out and try playing with those concepts um, and, and, and see if that might work for you. And I would love to hear about um, your reactions to it and how it's, uh, yeah, how you are playing with it. <laughs> okay, take care. Bye. It's hard to, like, just stay here.